everyone from Skopje, North Macedonia. Unfortunately, today is our last day here. We are leaving on a bus to... Kosovo. We are going to Pristina. It's about two hours from Skopje, I so not think. Bad at all. Definitely not bad. But before we do leave, we want to show you our amazing apartment. It is in the best location and we couldn't leave without showing you. It's about like 30 seconds, like I'm not even joking, 30 seconds from the centre, centre, centre. Yeah, from all the attractions, it's absolutely brilliant. So I will flip the camera around and let Connor do the honours. Brutal, Skopje, I'm here to tell you, is it worth it, is it not? Should you stay here, should you not? This place cost us around 17, 18 pound per night. We stayed here for three nights. Spoiler alert, first ever 11 out of 10. Location, amazing. Size, amazing. Everything about this apartment, amazing. We'll start with the bed. Two single beds. He can't even put it together to make it a double. Perfect, very comfortable as well. Here, if you want to stay here for like months upon end or however, like weeks, there is so, oh, and an iron. That, I completely forgot about that. Iron, a hair dryer. There's so much space for your clothes. Good, good, good. Follow me, follow me. We'll take you to the bathroom. No shower curtain. Very, very spacious. Hot water doesn't run out for two people, so you find out. The that. only thing is, this toilet kind of comes off, so when you yeah. go and get toilet paper, you're literally coming off the floor, but it's fine. <laughs> That's probably why there's water on the floor, yeah. but we're not going to think too much into that. Follow me over here, we have the living room. Why is it dark? Because the light was really reflective, so I had to take off all the... We'll undo the um, curtain thingies, where they're called. We have a TV, we have a sofa, a very comfortable sofa, some tables, cool decor, very spacious. Well done here. I'd actually love to buy this apartment off this guy. I really wouldn't just renovate it because the, everything about it is spacious, the location is amazing. Here we have another bedroom. It's locked because it's only me and Olivia here. But if you want more people in here, another bedroom. And in here is the kitchen. We have Glasses, 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 glasses. We have Ooh, plates. Right behind Connor's head. <laughs> plates, plates, plates. We literally have everything you can want in a kitchen. Um, the bin's are a little small, so if you do want to stay here for a while, that is your bin. But it's fine, you should just be able to take it out because the bins are right outside. Fridge, freezer, no problem. And we also have little terrace not the best view but the other side makes up for it i think yeah the other side makes up for it definitely that is the little kind of square we're in like the neighborhood it's fine it's completely safe i've never actually walked i mean i walked out of here last night at 10 o'clock at night felt completely safe everyone here's lovely the neighborhood's fine so don't let that put you off but that is the room tour that is what we stayed in here in Skopje. it was beautiful 11 out of 10, amazing. So like Olivia said, we are getting a bus into Kosovo. We're not quite sure the times, never trust online times. Make sure you just go to the actual station or the bus station, wherever it is, and they will tell you the exact times. Um, so yeah, we don't know when it is. But it is around two to three hours, depending on the border crossing. So let's pack our bags. We might get something to eat, we might not. If we do, we'll show you. And let's get ready for Kosovo. And here are my new jeans. Oh yeah, Olivia has <laughs> new jeans. She loves them. Hi everyone, bit of a jump now, but we are at the bus station. It costs us 700 Macedonian to get two tickets straight to Pristina. Should be about two and a half hours, but 700 is like nothing. nothing. It will be two and a half hours depending on border control. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. Completely fine. Yeah, for, for a two, I was scared. I was thinking, no, it's two hours. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a minibus. It's going to be a minibus, but. We've been, we've looked out with buses. Yeah, we've got out a lot. Besides one, but... Yeah, that wasn't yeah. too bad. No, it was just... I remember one. which one you were speaking about now. Yeah, yeah, so it was very bad. Don't give me it wasn't that bad. Yeah. But yeah, we are on our way. So we've got on, uh, just got on the bus, and we thought if anyone is actually travelling around this time uh, from where we are to Kosovo, here are some of the bus timetables, just yeah. for this bus anyway. So this if you miss this one... Yeah, if you miss it, it's pretty fine. You're pretty... You'll be waiting a long time. Um, yeah, if that helps anyone, then it helps anyone. Yeah. But I've got some Kit Kats. Olivia's got. What is that? Chip, 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 ch
chip ski and, and some water. bottle of water. Yeah. Hopefully this is just a safe, normal drive and we'll record when we hit the border crossing. Yeah. Made it into Kosovo. The border crossing was completely fine. They're actually really close to each other. They wanted to know why we were here though. And Olivia was like, oh, what a tourist pub. <laughs> One week, I promise. <laughs> but yeah, it's cool. Kosovo. We have arrived. We've arrived at a bus station, <laughs> I guess. I guess it's the bus the station. Last five minutes were a little chaotic. So chaotic. Everyone was just getting out because there's traffic and we tried to get out and we was like, oh wait, we got our bags, but they closed the door on us and then we got back out and we was like, what the yeah, hell? Someone was like, this is the bus station. So we were like, oh okay. So they we're rushing to get out and then they're closing the doors. And I was and like, like, yeah, oh. I think we should have just waited, which we did, thank God. So now our mission is to find a SIM card. Or Wi-Fi. Or Wi-Fi, yeah, because our host um, was very nice and said that he will pick us up from the bus station. So shout out to you, my guy. So let's try find a card, a SIM card, or at least at the very minimum, Wi-Fi. See what this bus station's about. Oh, it's not that bad. Ooh, the world map. See if I can point out where we are. Um, no? Oh well, I give up. <sighs> Look at that. So we do have Wi Fi. But that will not be good enough. I don't think. Um, I can't find a SIM card thing anywhere. We left January the 3rd. Just over two months ago. Oh, great. That's okay, sorry, that's fine. <laughs> so, we picked up our SIM card, then we met our host and he drove us here, so thank you so much for that. And in the car we were talking about what life was like in like 2004, in 1998, 1999, because he lived through like the protests and the war and he stayed here. He also served in the military here as well, so he's a really nice, genuine person. Absolutely loved that. But I'm not going to talk about that topic at all. I'd rather talk about this amazing room that he has given us. I think for two nights it was 50... Seven. 57, 56, something like that. So not bad at all, especially because of the location and how huge this is. Slightly so, more pricey though. Slightly pricey, but totally worth it when you see. So this is our living room, as you can see. Please excuse the mess. We are doing washing. We just got in. We also have a smart TV. So... It'll be nice to sit down and watch Netflix again. I'm not gonna open this because the door is your typical European door and I just can't open it. I but don't know if you can see. Yes, they can. But that's, that's our outside. Area. And then over here, we have the kitchen. We have oven, lovely. And then all obviously like your pots, your pans, your, your cups, your coffees, your everything like that and all of these. We have a hob here, sink and a fridge freezer over there. Dishwasher. Where's the dishwasher? Right in front of you. <laughs> I don't know what a dishwasher looks like, clearly. Um, but yeah, here's a fridge freezer, absolutely huge. You have- Wine. Some wine, and Olivia's favorite for some reason. You're my favorite, I haven't even tried it. Racky. Racky. So I'm gonna make Olivia try it today, because so she can shush about it. What is this? I saw 100%. I don't think there's anything to do with alcohol, well, I'll be honest. Honestly, no, no. And if it's 100% alcohol, we're <laughs> not touching it. No, I don't even think that's a thing, that's just petrol. He has his uh, kids' room here, because he used to live here. Uh, he said it's just a spare room, so obviously if there's more people in here, there we go, there's a bed, it's roomy, it's just not the best decor, but... Look at this for a child, though, if you had your child cute. in here. Very, very cute. But I saw this, so I'm not very happy. <laughs> we have a, I guess, a utility. I think this is more like, yeah, utility stuff. Yeah, so iron, everything that you kind if of you need. If you needed to here. live here, there we go. you've got everything you need. Smashed it. 
we'll leave the bed for last. We have the toilet in here. I'll show you round. So toilet, close that. Toilet, washing machine, and oh, it's wet. <laughs> oh no. My socks are wet. Okay, <laughs> toilet, washing machine, and a shower, and there's no shower curtain, so. I'm starting to think that none of the toilets are actually connected and they just always do that so they can go down into the drain, <laughs> which is a bit gross, but. I have no idea, but hey ho. My feet are so cold. <laughs> then we have the massive bedroom. This is like a king size bed. I don't know what size it is, but it's huge. I actually really like um, the deck covers or as well. The, yeah, the deck cover. is amazing. Mirror. Big mirror. So I'm going to look at myself. And huge. Good luck when I tried to open those a minute ago. What's the move? There we go. There we go. Oh. I don't think these are like. <laughs> That's all right. A, a full new wardrobe as well, apparently. Yeah, lovely stuff. Um, obviously, there is more space in there, so don't worry about that. And then, obviously, we've taken our shoes off. Which is custom in Cosovan households, we learned. It is custom. So, yeah, this is the room. I'd rate it a 8 out of 10, because it is 8 minutes. 8 minute walk from the actual city, 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 centre, centre, centre. And... It was a bit on the price side, but to be fair, it was the cheapest we can find. So, yeah. amazing. So, what are you doing, Kosovo? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, I rate it. Bus successful, border crossing successful, SIM card successful, Airbnb successful. We need one more thing. And that, sorry for Olivia's hat <laughs> that you just saw. We need one more thing to be successful. And that is dinner. We're not quite sure where we're going to go. We're going to look it up and we'll take you guys with us. So, we're going to have dinner rate it say how much it is because we don't really know the prices here yet and yeah show you guys how expensive it is like i said and then we're gonna end the video guys we have been humbled to the fullest we have had the best experience with people they're so kind and the hospitality is just amazing so we've come into this restaurant couldn't really find anywhere else because it was quite late and we were actually intending to cook today but we're in princessa bracer it's been here since 1999 and we got a ice cold beer. And it's actually, I don't normally like beer, but that is good. It's the Paya Drop. Drop? Yes, it's on the yeah, yeah, yeah. It's their local beer, and it only costs for this Euro 50. Amazing. And I obviously got a coat. But... <laughs> In her wine glass, being bougie. But Connor has got a rump steak, a peppercorn rump steak. Peppercorn rump steak, indeed, yeah. And I got a pepperoni pizza. <laughs> They didn't have any local options, okay? I wasn't being unhappy. Now, I did ask him what do you recommend, and he recommended me that because the meat is here in Kosovo, so it's local meat, it's freshly made, so I cannot wait to have a bit of local steak. But he's been so kind, like, he was asking us questions about a trip, he was telling us recommendations in Kosovo on where to go, mm -hmm. and he was also telling us how to say cheers yeah. in Kosovo, which is the same as Albanian, but I've forgotten what it is. <laughs> We so will learn. We again. will learn. But like Olivia said, we have been humbled. It is late at night and we were really scared. We didn't know what to expect. But the people here have been welcoming. They've been yeah. amazing. Just brilliant. Absolutely yeah. brilliant. Please, as we've said before, don't always listen to the news. I know what it says, but it might not always be the case. And Kosovo has got to come a very long way. Definitely. So, whatever it is, we'll say, say we'll say Nostrave for Nostrave now. We, for now. <laughs> we got the free complimentary bread. Yeah, absolutely. there's so much bread. And it's and hot. There we are. But Go this on. is like yogurt tea and cucumber. I think it reminds me of tzatziki. I might be wrong, but he will be very upset if we don't try it. So. <laughs> he said, "You eat it with the bread." That's what they're helping. Be honest, honest, honest. That's like tzatziki, but it's not as strong as tzatziki. Okay, okay. I think it's homemade tzatziki. That's, and, the, and the bread, they make fresh here as well. Still warm, like Olivia said, and there's so much servings, and it's free. Do you know what? I don't hate it. There we are, in the strawberry. <laughs> so, this is what I three to four euro pizza looks like in Kosovo. 
and this was eight euros that Connor's got here with a rump steak peppercorn sauce and their fries. Yeah, pretty much. And this, if you come here, this is unreal with the bread. Definitely, but we've eaten too much bread. This is a top end restaurant, like yeah. really top end. So if this is what the prices stay like, we're not leaving because of No, I mean, look at that rump. I've never eaten a steak that big for that price, ever. <laughs> Ever. And Olivia's pizza looks just as good. So we're gonna dig into this, tell you the final price, and tell you our opinions on it. Get the Instagram photo. update. I've just had a bite. Insane. Insane. One of the best steaks ever. It's just filet mignon. Filet mignon, yes. <laughs> it's really good. It's just really, really good. Olivia, do you like your pizza? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So it's all good. <laughs> So after an amazing meal, we got the bill. But well, actually, before we got the bill, we got a complimentary like dessert drink let thingy. Drink. Oh, it was so good. Sorry, let me try and get you guys in the light. And the bill worked out to be 21 euros, which was around 18 pound, which is amazing because a filet mignon on its own in England would have been like 25. So really happy with that. Good little find. If we haven't told you already, which I think we have, but if we haven't, we'll leave the restaurant name here. But I'm pretty sure we have Yeah, yeah, we Yeah, but if not, obviously I'll leave it there. So we're gonna end the video there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, Olivia. Post notifications on and come to Kosovo. See you guys in the next video. Bye.